What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, we are going over the policy committee building in Nexus War. City Hall 9, I think it is, 9, 8 or 9, around that area, you're gonna unlock this building. You're gonna have a choice to make. Go ahead and we take a look at this. You're gonna have two choices. You're gonna either choose the advanced economy section or you are going to take the armed plunder. Now both of them have very different styles and buffs. So first one we have is the advanced economy. Now this one is typically good if you're going to be uh, free to play, very low spender. This is what I'm going to suggest you take at the beginning as soon as you unlock this building and have the chance to make a choice because later on you can go ahead and always switch it out. If you take a look at the bottom, it even says receive a free changer again when your city hall reaches level 13. The first couple days in your server, it's pretty quiet. There isn't really any PVP events going on. You're not trying to capture any big uh, territories on the map just yet. So you really just want to focus on building and becoming as strong as possible. And then when the war really starts, then you switch over to all that other stuff. So I went with advanced economy at the beginning. And as you go ahead and your city hall reaches different increments, you're going to unlock these different ideological features. And one thing to note is that you'll see for level one, we have our little uh, race symbol in this right corner. And you click on this, it'll say two of the policies for this level are unique to the Izan race. They will change with your race. So depending on whatever race you choose, Yours may be different from the one that you'll see for me. I went ahead and I have uh, the gathering speed and then I also have a march speed of gathering armies. Naturally, I went with just the gathering speed because just being able to gather any resource faster is huge. The next one we have for at level two is uh, resources from jungling. So every time you go ahead and you destroy a neutral army, you'll get additional resources. You'll see plus 5%. That is the one that I took. The other options are gathering speed and resources from alliance contributions so if you really just want to help your guild build up very fast like you do a lot of those uh, guild researches basically what it means is every time you go ahead and you are contributing to the alliance research it's going to cost you less resources uh resource protection capacity which i really don't think you need uh this is only if you feel threatened if you're going to get attacked a lot get in a top three guild you won't even have to worry about that uh, the guild that I'm in is number one in the server, so I am not even concerned about getting attacked, so I really don't need to worry about protecting my resources. Then the finally, alliance, contribu alliance contribution cooldown reduced by 10 seconds. This one is really good to go ahead and pair it up with the resources for alliance contribution reduced. So you kind of see that there's like a pattern, there's kind of like a build that you wanna go. Uh, but for me, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go with the extra hero XP for jungling because that's what I'm pretty much focused on is doing a lot of jungling. Plunder, now this is one if you are going to be like a big pay to win player, you're gonna spend a lot of money, you're gonna advance your account really fast, you're gonna take this one first. Don't even worry about the advanced economy. Uh, for our first feature, again, we have one that is exclusive, unique to the Izan race, and we have uh, XP from jungling, and then finally healing speed. I would go ahead, take XP from jungling. It's going to help your heroes just level up a lot faster. For level two, we have marching speed of jungling armies, 10%. That's the one I would take. Marching speed of our raiding armies, and then finally, marching speed when supporting allies. So this is if you're going to be doing a lot of defending, you're going to be sending reinforcements to help someone uh, counter attack. Uh, and then the march speed of jungling. This is what I would probably take early on is just all the jungling stuff just to level up faster. At level three, we have reduced damage received by jumbling, army's load capacity when plundering. You're going to be attacking a lot of people, stealing their resources. Yeah, and you're pretty much just going to take all the ones in the second. The way they have it is everything is kind of lined up. I have not spent any money in this game and I am at VIP 5 already, getting close to VIP 6. All you're going to do is take your Talic. This is the premium currency and anytime you get it, just dump it in here. That's what I did. I got to VIP 5 completely free to play. I dumped all of my Talic and just bought VIP points. A very easy thing to do and it's going to give you tons of these passive rewards. The game is definitely free to play friendly. I mean, if I'm free to play and I'm already at VIP five, almost six, 
and it's only been what three days that i've been playing this game it's definitely very doable and then once we get to vip 6 we're going to get that second construction queue basically our second builder for completely free another thing i want to go over is once you unlock the intergalactic harbor this is your trade center make sure you level this up as much as possible and then when you go into it you basically have the ability to exchange resources for another resource so for the top one exchange for the origin i do this every time i exchange whatever resource it says to get that origin whether i get the discount or not because the origins are just such a valuable resource and then at the bottom we have exchange for accelerators you're pretty much just exchanging your resources for speed ups always do this even if it isn't a discount because you can never have enough speed ups especially if you are a free to play you won't be spending money for speed ups so being able to exchange resources for speed ups comes in handy that is it i hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video stay happy stay safe i'll see y'all later peace